So here we are in 2020. A new year means new games, and a brand new Fighters Pass for Smash Bros. Ultimate. Everyone is dying to see if their character will make the cut the second time around. So I thought I could weigh in with my thoughts and opinions on some of the most popular choices. A little while ago I saw this build your own Fighters Pass meme going around on Twitter, and I thought this would be a good starting point for some of the most popular choices. So today I'll be looking at every character in the first half of this list to determine how likely and how exciting their inclusion in the Fighters Pass 2 would be. I get a lot of requests in my comments and my streams to talk about who I think is going to be likely for Fighters Pass 2, so hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And if there's any characters not on this list who you'd like me to discuss, let me know in the comments down below and I might make a third part to this video. But without further ado, let's get into it. Bandana D. This is a popular choice, and how can it not be when he's this dang cute? Just look at those chubby cheeks! I just want to squeeze him like I'm his Aunt Julie, and oh my god, you've grown so much since the last time I saw you! Mwah, mwah, mwah. I think it would be pretty cool to get the last piece of the four-player Kirby gang into Smash. He's got a spear, which is pretty unique to the rest of the roster. Uh, forget about Byleth for a second. And we know he could make for a really great moveset, because he's a lot of fun to play in Super Smash Flash 2. But... At the same time, he's just so unexciting. Are you really gonna tell me you look at this lineup? This lineup! And this half-burnt marshmallow is what you really can't wait to see in the game. I'm really not against having Bandana D in the game. Throw him in as a special Piranha Plant side dish to Fighters Pass 2 and I would be more than happy. But I want Fighters Pass 2 to be just as impactful and crazy as the first one was. And impactful and crazy, Bandana D is not. Hype level? Two. Likelihood, five. Kratos. I see a lot of people dismissing Kratos pretty quickly, but I really think he's worth thinking about. Putting a Sony rep that's probably gonna end up being a heavyweight with a lot of good flavor and style seems like a pretty good pick to me. And after God of War was such a huge success in 2018, who knows what's next for the God Slayer? There's likely going to be a sequel coming up soon, so to slap him into Smash Brothers would make a lot of sense. I haven't actually played the games myself, so I can't say a whole lot on what his moveset could look like, but lots of combos with big heavy weapons seems to be right up his alley. Kratos just has a really cool design and a unique narrative for his games that would bring a lot to Smash Brothers. He no doubt would get an awesome stage to go with him too, and I just think overall he would be a killer Smash character. Quite literally. Oh my god. He's dead. Oh my god, please stop! He's already dead! Please stop! Hype level 5. Likelihood, six. Dante. This was the flavor of the month pick going around before Byleth's release, and I get it. Dante's cool, he's back in Devil May Cry 5, the games are being put on Switch, it all makes sense. However, I have one major problem with the idea of Dante being implemented into Smash, and that's what I like to call Bayonetta Syndrome. You got your girl doing this in her games, and we all know how that turned out, so what would happen when Dante, who does this in his games, gets put into Smash? Nope, I'm out, see you later, Vito Vito Vito, ding 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 ding, not allowed, not allowed! <clears throat> Dante has a great design and cool backstory, and I think some more normal human characters would help alleviate the pressure of the anime sword camp that has been going on lately. So yes, even with the comparison to Bayonetta, I think Dante could make for a really cool inclusion. Hopefully. Hype Level 7! Likelihood? 4. Wonder Red. I've never played the Wonderful 101, but you know I backed that Kickstarter day one, baby! I'm not missing out on that shit again! Just look at this guy. The superhero motif is unique, and I can already picture the amount of flair his attacks and animations would have. This boy would undoubtedly have the sauce. Look at those eyes, the stance, he's ready to roll you! Throw in a final smash where he calls in a hundred superheroes to beat you into the ground, you've got one stylish character. People may disagree with me on this one, but I think Wonder Red would be an awesome addition to Smash. And although I think it's pretty unlikely to happen, considering Nintendo wouldn't even publish the remake on Switch themselves, I would still love for this to actually happen. And I haven't even played the game yet. Hype Level 6! Likelihood 2. Crash Bandicoot. Honestly, I'm kind of surprised this hasn't happened already. 
It seems like we have everyone else from this mascot era of gaming, except for this pizza-shaped critter. With Mega Man, Pac-Man, Mario, Sonic, it just feels like a matter of time at this point before we get Crash. He's more popular than he has been in quite a long time due to the insane trilogy and Crash Team Racing remakes, so it seems like a good fit. The only problem is... we already have Incineroar. Now I know you might be thinking, what does Incineroar have to do with Crash Bandicoot, but... Come on, look at the movesets. It may not be perfect, but it would work surprisingly well if you just make Crash an Echo Fighter of Incineroar. Imagine Crash doing any of these moves. You just take out the little wrestler poses at the end of them, and boom, that's a Bandicoot. I know Sakurai would come up with a much better way to implement him, but if I want to get an idea of how Crash would look in Smash, I just look at Incineroar. Trust me, it makes sense. Don't judge me. Just stop, okay? Agree with me, and we can move on to the next one, okay? Hype level! Eight! Likelihood? Eight. Ezio Auditore. I've always wanted to say his name like that. This is a good pick. Bring back Sheik 2020, am I right? Although Assassin's Creed has managed to go downhill faster than a meatball on top of spaghetti covered in cheese, back in the day of my boy Ezio, these games were top of the line. The series almost single-handedly pioneered what we now consider the tropes of the open world genre, the most common of which being the use of towers to open up new locations and map objectives, something not even Breath of the Wild could get away from. With the relationship between Nintendo and Ubisoft being stronger than ever, I would say there's a decent chance that this could happen, but at the same time I feel there's a lot of options they'd rather go for than Ezio. You've got Rayman, or the Rabbids, <laughs> or any of the other Assassin characters, possibly even a protagonist to promote a new game in the series. Hell, if we're gonna go buy sales from Ubisoft over the years, maybe we should all be ready for something else. Something like... Drum roll, please? Glow person from Just Dance 2020, get in the groove and show them your moves, there's no stopping you now! Ezio's time may have already come and gone, but I wouldn't say he's completely out of the realm of possibility yet. He's dead and gone, but will forever live on in our hearts. Requiescat in pace, Ezio. Oh my god, that was so cringy. Hype level 5. Likelihood 3. Impa. This was a good pick for Smash 4 because of the popularity of Hyrule Warriors, and I do have to say that the redesigns in that game are nothing short of phenomenal. Impa and Ganondorf both look amazing in that game, and it's a shame that those designs never got used anywhere else. Nowadays, even with the port on the Switch, I feel that the chances of this happening have done nothing but lower. We all know it would be great to get more Zelda characters from somewhere. Like, please, just for the love of God, anything that isn't a little elf boy in green, why do we need three of the same guy? Either way, I don't really see Nintendo using a design for a Zelda character that wasn't created themselves, even if this is the version of Impa that most people tend to associate with nowadays. Like, seriously, between this and this, who's gonna pick that? Who, who would do- no one. No one, that's who. Having more Zelda in the game probably wouldn't be as hype as getting a third party character for most people, and it's a shame that Impa's time seems to have come and gone. Hype level 3. Likelihood 2. Lloyd Irving. This second row is definitely the most stacked out of the three, but if you don't pick Lloyd here, I'm going to have to revoke your Smash license. The Tales of series has yet to be represented in Smash, and I think that is a total crime. It's one of the big threes in the RPG world, the other two being Final Fantasy and Dragon Quest. And with Symphonia being the breakout hit for the series in the West, as well as being the series' best-selling game by a fairly wide margin, Lloyd seems like the best choice for a Smash candidate. Double the anime sword for one slot! It's genius! For real though, Tales of Symphonia is one of my favorite games of all time. It really got me into JRPGs in a way that no other game could at the time. If you haven't checked it out, I really would recommend giving it a shot. He's a great character, and a lot of the combat arts would translate perfectly into Smash. This is one of the characters at the top of my wanted list, and I know he's kinda niche to people who aren't into JRPGs, but those who are, know that Lloyd deserves a slot. Hype Level 9! Likelihood 4. Master Chief. This is a big want for a lot of people, and rightly so. Halo really ushered in the modern era of FPS games that we're still seeing the effect of today. There was about a 15 year period after Halo released where all people wanted to do in video games 
was shoot things. Shooting things has always been around in gaming, don't get me wrong, but never quite like this, and never quite this elegant while also being on a console. Trust me, play some Halo and then go back to Goldeneye right after. The changes are almost unbearable. My point is, Chief would give Smash some much needed first person shooter love, and with a lot more extra oomph than some other FPS characters. Well, I mean really, there is only one other FPS character in all of existence, and that's white guy with brown hair and big gun. Yep, it really captures the genre more than you think. Hype level 8! Likelihood, 5. Sora. Uh-oh, Big D's coming! What do you got there, Timmy? Oh, nothing, Father! Is that... Sora in Smash Bros! Sora is definitely one of the last few unreachable characters, which is why I can't help but want him even though I've never played a Kingdom Hearts game. Whether or not Disney will play ball remains to be seen, but recent rumors seem to point to the idea that they won't. Disney does tend to be pretty protective of their properties, so it's not really surprising if they do happen to not want Sora to be in Smash. Remember when the Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite trailer came out, and it leaked that Disney wouldn't let the trailer have clips of Marvel characters being beat up by Capcom characters? Yeah, so that's who we're dealing with here. From what I've seen, there's a lot of cool Disney-inspired special moves and big keyblades to smack people around with, so I'm sure there'd be no trouble creating a decent moveset for Sora in Smash Bros. At the end of the day, this is a character that a lot of people want, but just assume will never happen. Sora in Smash would be the event of the season, but sadly, I just don't think Disney can find it in their heart. Oh, <laughs> get it? Like in the game? Like Kingdom Hearts? Hype level 10! Likelihood, 1. And that's the first half of our list. As a recap, here's the characters that I think are the most hype and the most likely. Do you think these choices are absolutely outrageous or did I snub your favorite character? Let me know in the comments below. And make sure to subscribe so you can see when I upload the second part of this video. We'll be going through the whole second part of the list and maybe even more. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye!